Okay, I know who Warren Buffett is. I disagree profoundly with the capitalist system. Now, I studied business, I've got an MBA. It's not like you need to educate me on economics or business. Anything to do with it, I am very well aware of it. So you don't need to say I'm misled or I'm miseducated. I've got a master's in business administration, all right? You can dig up the diploma if you want to see. Now, I've lived in this world for 54 years, and I can see how capitalism affects people. And the biggest problem with capitalism is that, well, there's many problems with it. Let's list them all. First of all, it is unfair. Capitalism and capitalists will say, well, it's about producing things at the lowest cost so that you can, whatever, and the maximum profit. Now the thing is that the profits go to the owners and to the managers, especially the upper management. How does this serve society as a whole? It doesn't, it cannot, because you have got if you have got a world where you can serve everyone or you can serve yourself, capitalism is serving one person, you. It is not serving others. It's not service to others, it's serving you. It is the greediest system there is. It's all about me. Capitalisms will say, well, the opposite is socialism or communism, and that's a failure. Well, communism is a failure because it's run by people who take control and they're looking after me. You know, you only have to look at Russia to see that it was the people in the Communist Party who benefited the most from communism. It wasn't the general population. And everyone knows that communist China is schizophrenic because it's run by a communist regime in name, uh, but the communists that run it are the biggest capitalists in the world. They own all the big Chinese companies. It's the Communist Party people, the apparatchiks. So uh, we don't have an example of pure communism. I used to say the kibbutz in Israel, but a lot of them are shut down. I don't know why. I haven't been there. So socialism is your other one. The problem with socialism is that you get the government involved, a lot of middlemen involved, and they all take their cut. And the middlemen always make more than the people that they're helping. You know it's true. Government workers make more than the private sector workers. And if you're poor, the person that you go to at the welfare bureau is making a lot more money than you are. If they're a manager, if they're a frontline worker, then they're barely making over minimum wage. But Warren Buffett is saying, let's not raise the minimum wage. Let's get the government to subsidize business, earn income tax credit. So he's basically saying uh, that government should subsidize businesses. Now, how can you fairly, Mr. Buffett, say that government should subsidize business by giving employees a top-up because you decided not to raise minimum wages. You see, the capitalist is always about me. Warren Buffett doesn't want to pay more out of his pocket and in his businesses directly to employer, employees that need a raise. He wants the government to do it. They're always looking for somebody else to pay. Warren Buffett, sorry, if he showed up in my front yard, would I serve him tea? Yes, I would serve him tea, and I would sit down with him, and we would talk about 
this is the problem that I have, is that I have all this animosity towards capitalists because they're so fucking greedy. So fucking greedy. And, you know, they'll dress in a nice suit. And maybe Mr. Buffett pretends to live, you know, like a normal middle-class person. But he keeps going on about the same thing over and over again. Not raising wages. I mean, if you're going to be a capitalist and you're going to play by economics, if there's not enough labor, then you got to raise your wages. But that's not what they do, is they... They want the government to subsidize it. Or, you know, they yell and scream, there's too much illegal immigration. But these are the ones that are hiring the illegal immigrants, the ones who keep pushing the wage rates, rates down because there's so many people on skilled labor. And, you know, you know that Donald Trump hires unskilled labor, illegal aliens for all intents and purposes, pays them nothing, and then when he finds out about it, he fires their ass. These capitalists are all about themselves. They talk out of both sides of their mouths. They are not kind. They are the opposite of kind. They are evil. And you will never prove to me that Donald Trump is anything but a big fucking asshole and all about himself. And I know some people say, oh, he's here to save the world. He is nothing but the worst ego there is. And that's what the world ego is. The president that you see, the president of the American continent, is a big fucking ego. It's Panda. I got more, but we're going to do a different video next time. Thanks for watching.